Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Basically what happens, you know, is that you get this problem from a number of things. The, the most common thing is overuse. When you get inflammation of a tendon sheath injury, it's usually because you uh, work the tendons too hard. This happens a lot with the perineal tendons. But with the extensor tendon, it really doesn't happen that much unless you're doing lots of hill repeats. So if you're running uphill and you have to pull your foot upward, you have to swing forward and pull hard with your toes to run up a steep slope over and over and over. Or if you're doing lots of really long, continual long climbs, like let's say you um, decide for fitness you're going to run up Pike's Peak uh, on a regular basis in order to build fitness because you're running uphill for a very, very long time when you do that. Well, running up Pike's Peak over and over, you can certainly get extensor tenosynovitis because when you run up the slope, your foot has to pull up further to not hit the ground as you swing through in the swing phase of gait where you're, you know, one foot's on the ground, the other one's swinging forward and your toes pull upward. And if you're running uphill, it has to pull up even harder to skip that uh, and miss the ground. So as you go through the gait cycle, when you're running uphill, you can certainly get overused, six, you know, in some sense of the extensor tendons, but it's not the tendons that get injured. It's the inside of the tendon sheath that becomes inflamed and that's what causes pain. So it's the, the most common way to get it though is actually from messing up uh, tying your shoelaces. That may sound stupid, but well, maybe it is stupid, but I did it myself. So I guess that would make me stupid for doing it. But um, what I did was I was actually in residency and I was doing the Salt Lake City Marathon and I wanted a new PR. I'd been training hard. I'd been you know, running through the winter. I ran when it was snowing. I ran when it was freezing. I actually had icicles hanging off the brim of my hat one time, which was brutal. Um, but I, I did really want to run fast this day. So the race is actually a great race. It starts um, up on this uh, a sort of on a slight elevation uh, near, uh, well, it's called the bench, but it's basically sort of way up above the valley. So for miles, you're running more or less downhill. Uh, not hard, steep downhill, but just downhill enough to make it really easy to run fast. So I was super excited about this. I was all ready. I was kind of nervous, truthfully. And uh, so, you know, before the gun went off, I was basically like, I kind of felt like my laces were too loose and I kind of tightened them a little bit. And I was standing around and then felt like they were a little too tight, so I loosened them a little bit. And then I tightened them and I loosened them. I must have done this half a dozen times. But then I was like trying to get them just right and I was kneeling down and I heard, you know, the gun goes off. So, of course, that's it. I just like cinched them up and off I went. And I was running and, you know, no big deal. I mean, I was doing great. I was like, you know, I thought oh, this is great. Temperature was perfect. Everything was good. I was running along. Everything was going fine. And about eight miles into the race, I started realizing that I had this vague aching sensation on the top of my foot, like right in the middle of my foot on the top. Well, I kind of figured my laces were too tight. So, but of course I like, I looked at my garment, I was on pace and I was like, well, this is going to have to hurt a little bit. I mean, I'm on pace, so I'm not going to stop and tie my shoes, right? That'd be crazy. So, um, I didn't. Well, to make a long story short, um, the race goes down, then you go through the valley, and you go down through Liberty Park, heading back to town. And at that point, you're only a few miles from the finish. And at that point, going through Liberty Park, I still remember, like, it suddenly felt like every single time my foot hit the ground, it felt like a hammer hitting my foot. It was brutally painful. And so I did not PR, uh, and then I could barely walk for several days. And it hurt so bad that a few days later, I ended up injecting it with corticosteroids to make the inflammation in the tendon sheath go down. But I remember, and I actually thought I was nuts, that uh, evening uh, or the next day, I don't truth remember if it was that day or the next day, when I would move my toes up and down slowly, I could feel this sort of squeaking sensation where the tendons were going into the tendon sheath. And I swear I thought I could hear it. But I'm like, there's no way you could hear the tendon sheath squeaking. That doesn't make any sense. So I actually, I thought that I could hear it, and, um, but you know, I thought there's no way. Well, since that time, I've seen three different runners, and when I examine them and I put my fingers against their toes and I have them pull up and I check to see if it's extensor tendons, they actually, I have heard the tendon sheath and the tendons sque uh, squeaking, making this like ee little sort of, you know, very mild squeaking noise when they move them. And of course, the runner looks like they're in a huge amount of pain when they do that because you're moving the tendons through that swollen tissue and it hurts because the tube is the same size, the fibrous tendon sheath has not changed, but the tissue on the inside, when it swells, it swells up. It can only swell inward. So the internal diameter of the tube is much, much smaller at that point, but it's smaller because it's now lined with very inflamed, swollen tissue that has lots of nerve endings in it. And then when the tendon 
gets forced through there, moving back and forth, well, that hurts because it's pulling on that inflamed, swollen tissue with a lot of friction because it's compressed. And when you do that and you can actually hear it squeaking, that's not a good thing. So that's what extensor tenosynovitis is in short, is that it's inflammation of the tendon sheath within that fibrous tube. So you have to do something to address it. You have to do something to get rid of it. Doc on the run. We help injured runners run.